Hi, I'm Dr. Lemuel Oliver. In this video, I'm going to cover the top five tips that you need to know before making that first investment property purchase. If these are the types of tips and strategies that you're interested in learning more about, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video and click the notification bell to be notified when we release new videos. I release new videos all the time that talk about how to get started investing in real estate. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So let's face it, it can be a little bit intimidating trying to make that first investment property purchase. But with the right strategy and with the right set of knowledge, you can avoid many of the pitfalls that novice investors fall into when making that first investment property purchase. So tip number one is to simply start small. It's a shortfall back to the bottom if you start small and the investment doesn't work out exactly as you planned it. The last thing you want to do is get in over your head on your very first deal. That can end up leaving a sour taste in your mouth and not really wanting to continue in your career. But one of the principal uh, components of success in real estate is persistence. And having some success, even if it's just a little bit, a little seedling of success in the beginning, can go a long way in helping to keep you motivated in your real estate investing career. Scope and capital should fit hand in glove. So you don't want to try to take on something that is way beyond your budget on your very first deal. Just go ahead, find a property that's, that uh, fits your strategy and is within your budget and just start there. Remember, in real estate investing, you're playing the long game. Most investors are not going to simply do one deal or two deals and reach their real estate investing goals. But by starting small, you will find that the growing power of your investment as it presses for expression will allow you to be in a position to do larger deals as you continue to grow. Tip number two is to invest local. When you're getting your investing career started, I find it best to start with a property that is local, something that is close to where you're going to spend most of your time. It always amazes me how investors can purchase properties on the other side of the country, sight unseen, and have success with that. I mean, you know, once you get to be an, an institutional type investor, perhaps you can execute that type of strategy and have some success. But I would not recommend that when you're starting out. It may seem like a good deal on paper or on the computer screen, but if it's on the other side of the country and you cannot keep an eye on that property, uh, then that's just a setup for uh, problems later. I'm not saying this strategy can't work, but it seems like a risky approach to take when it comes to investing my hard-earned capital. And besides, there are many properties in your local area that should certainly fit your investing strategy and fall within your budget. Knowing the happenings and trends in your local area gives you sort of what I call a home court advantage. And I would encourage you to take this advantage, especially when you're first getting started. As a matter of fact, you want to take every single advantage you can get. I find that the best positioned properties in terms of location are located about one to two hours from my primary residence. The reason for this is twofold. First of all, having a property that's one to two hours away sort of forces my hand in terms of hiring or establishing property management. Having a property that far away makes it a lot less likely for me to just simply drop what I'm doing and run to the property every time there's an issue. Secondly, and somewhat related, the property is still close enough where if something does arise that requires my presence, I'm usually able to rearrange my schedule and still make it there uh, by the end of the day, should the need arise. Now, with all of that being said, you do want to be somewhat mindful of the type of area that you are in. If you are in a more rural type of setting 
and there's only say one primary employer like a like a car plant or some other large factory if this is the only primary employer in your area you want to be a little bit careful because your investment property is going to be uh, inextricably tied to the success or failure of that factory if that factory goes out of business chances are your rental income uh, not only will suffer but so will the value of your property for example I invest in the Memphis market there are about 15 fortune 500 companies that are headquartered uh, in the Memphis area and so if a factory closes or a large employer goes out of business uh, it is less likely to have a, uh, a detrimental impact on my rental income and the value of my property. If there is widespread unemployment and decreasing property values in the Memphis market, that means there are probably larger issues at play, not only in the country, but around the world. Tip number three, be active in your own investments. You have to decide how comfortable you feel uh, using money that you earn letting your employer take that money before you ever even see it and invest it on your behalf. I personally never really cared much for this approach. I'm not saying that it doesn't work. Many people do it. All I'm saying is it's just not for me. No one's going to care more about my money than me. Tip four, educate yourself financially. This is so important regardless of the investment strategy that you pursue. A financial education is just as important and some would argue that it's even more important than anything you learn in grade school or college or graduate school for that matter. When you invest in real estate you have complete control of your investment capital and again no one's gonna care more about your own money and your investments than you. Remember, money is made in the mind. So tip four, educate yourself financially and remember, money is made in the mind. Tip number five, surround yourself with people who know more than you. A good real estate investor learns from his mistakes. A wise real estate investor learns from the mistakes of others so that he never commits them. This brings us to our discussion of finding a good mentor. Good mentors are so important, not only in real estate investing, but in any area of your life that you want to see improve. Having a good mentor along with the mastermind group is one of the shortcuts to success, not only in real estate investing and business, but also in life. So I hope you have found these tips helpful and useful. If so, subscribe to the channel. Again, we release videos all the time that uh, talk about getting started investing in real estate. And until next time, happy and prosperous investing.